Hey guys, so I am out here on the boat and what I want to do is come out today and test out those new features on the Garmin update that I just did a video on a couple of weeks ago and see how they work actually on the water. So I'm going to try not to bang into the bank here. Um, I really need to upgrade this trolling motor and get one of those Altrexes with the spot lock. That'd be super cool. We will see if that happens. But as far as the update goes, I feel like whenever I did it at the house and I did it on the simulation mode that it was... I felt like it was almost better than what I've experienced on the water today. As you can see on the water, um, we've got some stain to it. And so with that stain to the water, I don't feel like I was really, you know, I don't know. I just don't feel like it was as impactful as I thought it would be. I thought that it would really, you know, be a, you know, game changer, as they say, when it comes to using the Garmin Live Scope. But I found myself using it really at the 20% or so level to just kind of clear up the image just a little bit. What I want to do is get to my footage that I shot earlier with my chesty rig, and we're going to check out exactly how it looks and how I made some adjustments on the water and what it looks like on the screen. So let's get to that. All right, guys, so I've been out here. I've caught a few small crappie. There's actually been ice on the lake out here and it's finally starting to warm up and we've got you know 37 and it's been like 36 degree water temps of what i've been in and these fish are really funky today but what i've been using is this little drop shot setup right here it's just like a bass fishing drop shot with a hook and a minnow on it and i have another video on that i will link at the end but it's one of my favorite ways to fish around all this timber that we have in this lake especially whenever you're getting hung up a lot so i'm going to drop that down in the water all right so currently i've got the gain at 63. so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start pumping up my gain a little bit you know get some so you know there i'm starting to be able to see the top thing is the minnow the bottom is the the weight i've got it to where i can really see my jig and my minnow but the problem is if you look i've got a lot of noise here i've got the ghost tree effect as people call it so with this update and if you haven't done the update yet i will link the video of the update and how to do the update using an sd card at the end of the video but it provides some new features so i'm going to go into the menu and i'm going to go to sonar setup and the first thing i'm going to do is turn this ghost reject we're going to hit low medium we'll just put it on medium we'll go back all right back so you can see that got rid of a lot of my ghost tree still a little bit of it left there so now what i'm going to do is play with the color limit feature so i'm going to go into menu i'm going to go to sonar setup i'm going to go to appearance i'm going to go to color limit so we're going to use this slider let me get my jig out from i don't want it to be behind the numbers there i don't know if you can see this but there's my jig you can actually see there's separation that's how accurate this is there's separation between where the knot is and where the minnow is that's kind of cool so here's the original we're going to pump up that color limit see as i start to get really high i'm going to lose a lot it looks a lot like that hummingbird imaging when you get it really high um, i do not like to get it to cranked all the way up because then it starts looking like that hummingbird mega live and i just think that looks like hot garbage that's why i have hummingbird units at my um at my console and i have one at my bow but i was not interested in that hummingbird mega live just because i think it looks like hot garbage i don't think it's as detailed i don't think it's as clear i don't mind a little bit of clutter on my screen as long as i get a better image of my jig and the fish and seeing what they're doing and the structure that they're on um that's what i want i kind of feel like somewhere in like the 40 44 percent i don't know so i don't know you guys tell me down in the comments which you think looks the best but today i've been really playing around with it about 25 is what i've been on most of the day today and see you got crappie right here i'm gonna drop down to him doop, doop, doop. Oop. we're gonna dangle that in his face there
my fish was like right behind the AM. I want to sit that back down. But I got it at 18%. We're going to put it back at like 24, 23. And we'll hit done. Then, so you can still see my jig there. It's a little, it's a little out of the sonar beam right now. Um, and then we're going to go into, back to sonar setup. Noise reject. So, playing with that a little bit. What I've had it on is on low it kind of clears it up as you can see there let's go back so you can still see my jigs there i can actually pump up this gain just a little bit but you can see i'm going to move my jigs here do 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 but if you can look at the water, we've got some pretty dingy water. I'm sure that if I had clear water, it'd probably look a little bit different. Can I get them to bite, man? They are just so finicky. Crazy. But really the main thing overall, guys, is that whenever you get this, just play with it. I mean, you'll get on a million videos and they'll tell you a million different ways to set up your sonar. And really, I think a lot of it's personal preference um, on what you like, what you want it to look like. This has been working for me today. The fish haven't really been cooperating as much as I'd have liked them to, but I'm thankful and blessed that I got to get out on the water today and it's actually warm enough to be out here. So that's the big thing for me is that like, I think it's a good update, but I don't think it's a game changer. And I'll tell you right now, I saw a lot of people complaining on the Garmin, you know, forums and stuff like that. There are some older units that this update didn't give them that color limit feature. I wouldn't worry about it guys i would not i don't think it's worth upgrading your unit just to get the color limit that's i'm just going to go ahead and say it so um, if you disagree with me feel free to comment down below but like i don't think it's necessarily a game changer i think it's another you know tool in your pocket but if you have the garmin live scope and don't have that feature it's not the end of the day so i appreciate you guys watching my goal with this channel was always from the beginning to bring value to you guys and hopefully help you guys get outside do something awesome and hopefully take somebody with you if you get a chance and i am looking forward to making more videos in 2022 if you found this valuable please consider hitting the like or subscribe button thank you and have a great day